Warning, this video depicts scenes of graphic violence. The violence is towards the dirt that lives in your vacuum cleaner, so maybe that's not so bad. This is our Shark Navigator lift away, a trusty old machine that served us well for many years, and I think it's in part to the fact that I take good care of it. Lots of people don't clean out their vacuums at all, and they just let them go until they break and then they throw them out. If you're one of those people, please just punch yourself. Now, it's not the most glorious or fun or clean task, but it's one you can easily tackle with a very minimal amount of time and effort. Well, what you're seeing me do here kind of dangerously with a knife, you might notice, scissors work also, is just cutting all the hair that's accumulated on this beater bar on the bottom. Now, the beater bar is what most vacuums use to agitate the carpet and get all the junk that's kind of fallen into your carpet up into the air and then sucked up into the collection canister bag whatever your vacuum uses to hold the junk now this beater bar is driven by a belt inside the vacuum and if you let too much hair accumulate on here it's going to slow it down wear down that belt and then you're going to be buying a new belt or what most people do, throw away your vacuum and get a new one. That's like way too much money. So just do this every couple months or whenever you think about it or whenever you just want to attack something. As you can see, there's tons of hair built up on here. And that it, releasing it allows you to have that thing spin more freely. And that's the long and short of it. I'll speed it up here to show you my progress. Just take your time getting all that junk out of there. You'll notice there's a bunch that accumulates on the sides. It's not just hair, too, if you don't have much hair. It still picks up fibers from your carpet that could get bound up in there. So make sure you go through and clean out all the little bristles on your beater bar just to make sure that is able to pick up some more junk in the future and give it a few spins to make sure it's able to turn freely. And before you know it, you're all done. You have about enough hair to make a small cat. So consider yourself lucky it's not holding your machine back anymore. The next step is something I just assume everybody knows how to do. This is to clean out the main canister of your vacuum. Obviously, once it gets full of dirt, you need to dump it into the trash can. Now, if this is a bag, you just throw the bag away or dump the bag. Here, it's a... Uh, permanent canister that gets empty from the top and the bottom and oh look out grossness warning sorry you had to see that yours may vary but most vacuums have a filter so Ew. take that out Ew. take your canister and your filter outside get your leaf blower ready and just blow them away you can clean these with soap and water too but where's the fun in that I like to slap my filter like it owes me money until nothing else comes out. Make sure you blast yourself too because that counts as a shower, right? Put everything back together and you're done. That should be good to keep your vacuum from sucking or to keep it sucking. You know what I mean. Does anybody do this? Have you done this? Let me know in the comments. Until then, get out there and do some stuff.